Mr. Halfgren here, and here's a short video on how to um, do a array diagram for a pinhole camera, and then how to use the formulas to calculate the same results mathematically. So here we have an object. We have uh, a Pac-Man. Pac-Man is four centimeters away from the uh, from the pinhole camera. So here's four centimeters right here from Pac-Man to the pinhole camera, or pinhole right here. And uh, the pinhole camera is uh, 10 centimeters long. There we go. So let's we'll just uh, make the uh, camera a little longer so it's 10 centimeters long. There we go. And there's a screen usually at the back of the camera, so it's going to move the screen over. There we go. Okay, perfect. So uh, we're going to draw two rays for, uh, for Pac-Man, uh, one from the head. So I'm just going to draw a, a ray from the head. It's going to go through the pinhole like this. And it's going to strike the screen at the back of the uh, of the pinhole camera. There we go. Now I'm just going to make the um, the ray a little thicker so it's easier to see, and uh, maybe I'll even change the color. So it's going to be the the first ray for the uh, for the Pac-Man. Okay. So now all we need is uh, oops, forgot the uh, there we go. Need the hole there for the pinhole camera. There we go. So now we just need one more ray. We need a ray that's going to go from the foot of Pac-Man, the object. Uh, it's going to go through the pinhole. So here's the pinhole, and it's going to strike the screen at the back like this. Uh, let's just change this one uh, so it's a different color. So it's a little easier when you make your array diagrams if you try using different colors as well. Okay, so as you can see, Pac-Man's foot is going to be right here where the red uh, ray is pointing, and Pac-Man's head is going to be down here. Um, and if you had a chance to look through a pinhole camera, you would see that the image is always going to be inverted upside down, and it's also going to be laterally inverted left side right. Um, or one easy way to think of it is um, when, um, oops, never mind. Uh, when you uh, when you take a look at the image, the image is going to be there. We go. It's going to be. Let me just bring this to the front here. It's going to be. There we go. The image is going to be rotated 180 degrees. So I'm just going to rotate the image twice. There we go. Now it's got to be a little bigger, so his feet have to touch touch uh, right there. And Pac-Man's head's going to be down here like that. There we go. So that's what Pac-Man's going to look like. If I can just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And there we go. So that's what the image is going to look like. So if we were to measure that, um, so I'm just going to measure that. So I'm just going to get a, um, a little line here and we'll see how long this is. So if I draw a line from here to here, uh, we can see that's 4.67 centimeters. So according to my diagram, the, uh, the image is going to be 4.67 uh, centimeters. 4.67, sorry centimeters tall. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let me just put that screen behind the text there. Behind text. Uh, there we go. Now we can read it better. Okay, go. Cool. Now, uh, it'd be nice to check if this is also true for, um, if we use the math, is, is Pac-Man going to be 4.67 centimeters tall? So to do that, we're just going to use this formula right here. So this formula is used to find out the magnification, and we can also use it to find the height. So if we just go back to the picture for a second. Uh, this is the image height, so that's the uh, the HO, the object, sorry, the object object height right there. Okay, and then uh, way over here, oops, go back here. There we go. Uh, this is going to be uh, the image height, so that's going to be our HI. There we go. Just uh, subscript that. The distance uh, that the object is from the pinhole, that's called the DO, the object distance. Okay, so that's going to be right here. And the distance for the image is called the DI. Okay, and there we go. All right, so we got our HO, our DO, our DI, and our HI. And those are the, uh, the variables used in the equation right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that equation right here. And we're going to make use of it, so let's just fill it in. So the uh, the high is what we'd normally be looking for. Uh, we know the hoe is going to be um, it's going to be three centimeters. So I'll just put in the, uh, the three centimeters right here. So we got three centimeters. Okay. 
and the die was uh, 10 centimeters. We're going to get uh, 10 centimeters for that. Okay. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So it's going to be 10 centimeters. When you ever use an equation, it's always good proper form to uh, sub your numbers into parentheses. And the um, object distance was, if we go back to the picture here, it was four centimeters. So we got four centimeters for that. There we go. Okay, so now uh, if we want to find the high, we don't need the m part of the equation. So we're just going to uh, do this part separately over um, right here, I guess. All right, so now all we have to do is cross multiply. So I'm going to move three centimeters, cross multiply it over here to the other side. There we go. And I guess I don't really need a fraction anymore since I cross multiplied over. So now we're going to get um, 10 times 3 is 30. Uh, 30 divided by 4 is 7 and a half. So uh, really the, uh, the image height should be um, 7.5 centimeters. Um, 7.5. And it's upside down, which is what the minus sign means. There we go. Okay. Let's double check that. Yep. So unfortunately, the diagram is not perfect. It's a bit off, but uh, that's the, one of the problems with using diagrams. Okay, we can also find the magnification. Uh, so the uh, magnification, if we use the, the negative 10 and the 4 and the M over here, uh, we can find the magnification as well. So I'm just going to do that right next to the other one here. So it's going to move over a little bit and paste that in. So we only need the parts of the equation that we know. Okay. And so what's 10 divided by 4? That's 2 and a half. So the magnification is going to be uh, minus 2 and a half. So I'll just plug that in right here as well. Let's move that over. There we go. So that's going to be negative, negative 2.5 times. Okay, or I'll use a little multiplication symbol for that right there. There we go. So that's just saying that minus means inverted, and it's going to be 2 and a half times bigger than it used to be. Okay, which makes sense because we went from a three centimeter object to negative seven and a half. And if you do two and a half times negative two and a half times three, you will get negative seven and a half. Okay, let's just go back to our picture here. So there you go. So there's the math. That's what the math looks like uh, when you're calculating magnification and finding the height of your image using the math equations. As long as you know three things, you can find the fourth. Okay. And uh, that's what the ray diagram looks like. So when you do the assignment, questions one and two, it's going to look a lot like this. Draw your two rays going through the pinhole, and you'll see that you'll get an upside down and a laterally inverted image. And then you can use the math to get the exact values right here. So I hope this helped. Good luck.